vida mía, escucha lo que yo digo y vas a entender la... With a cabbie hat, full-faced shades, and a Latin-style fade haircut, bilingual Spanish rapper Guero Loco looks like the kind of guy you'd see hanging out the window of a lowrider or emceeing a reggaeton show. But today, he's working the stage of the Deming High School Amphitheatre to show kids the kinds of opportunities being bilingual can open up. The people with the money, they get it. You know, they've got their kids in the, in the immersion schools, you know, learning, learning the, both, both languages. And so we need to spread that message to, to all of our kids because I've had so many opportunities opened up to me, um, not just as a music artist, but also in the, in the regular job market. And, um, and I just think that there's something special about being able to, to speak more than one language. To get the message out, Guero takes the fundamentals of Spanish, the alphabet, vowel pronunciation and verb conjugations, and then wraps them over hip hop beats. You know, it's hip with the hip hop. Um, it's, you know, the youth, you know, they, they really love, love hip hop. I mean, shoot, you know, 50, 60 year old people love hip hop now. Um, so, so just really taking a music that they like you know, and then putting putting the rhythm and the repetition to, to good use. Sitting up in the back of the amphitheatre is Deming Public Schools Director of Bilingual Education, Michael Chavez. He says he brought Guero Loco in to raise the profile of dual language learning. We service uh, English learners that are, uh, of course, uh, Spanish speakers that are learning English. And uh, we're also trying to um, uh, recruit uh, more English speakers that want to learn Spanish. Chavez says the bilingual curriculum is not only identical to the English language curriculum, but students work through it at the same pace. A 2013 Michigan State University study in Texas shows that native English speakers enrolled in schools with bilingual education perform much better on math and reading tests than students in schools without those programs. According to the most recent New Mexico data, native English speakers in the bilingual programs have achieved higher standardized test scores in many grades. Chavez says the trend runs true throughout the Deming School District and is an even stronger trend among English language learners that are in the bilingual streams. Well, there's a lot of people that uh, believe that um, um, in order to learn English, um, you need to be in an all English environment. And you know, there, there's, lots of, there's lots of research out there and, and we've got data within our district that show that, um, that English learners that are doing it uh, through both languages, English and Spanish, are actually outperforming our kids that are not. Of the 5,261 students in the Deming Public Schools, more than 31% are enrolled in bilingual programs. Deming High School sophomore Cristina Hernandez is one. She's a native Spanish speaker and she says there's a little bit of a cultural and language divide at Deming High School. She says kids in the bilingual stream and in the traditional English stream hardly interact. And she says it doesn't help that a lot of bilingual classes are held off the main campus. I feel like it's two different schools. We're at the same school, but it's like if we had two different schools. Senior Joshua Gonzalez is also a native Spanish speaker. He says relationships are a lot stronger within the bilingual programs. Spanish talkers can teach or help English. Talkers speak Spanish and English. Students can teach Spanish students learn English, you know. Gonzalez and Hernandez say their experience at Deming High School would be a lot better if more students were in the bilingual program, or at least if speaking two languages was more celebrated at school. Chavez says they have been working progressively towards that goal for the last six years. He says one of the reasons Guero Loco has so much impact is because students can relate to him and his experience. He speaks perfect Spanish and knows his way around Mexican slang, but he is no native Spanish speaker. What a local basically means the crazy white guy, the crazy gringo, um, because my parents aren't Latino. I don't have anybody in my family that, that, that is Latino. His real name, Steve Stiegelmeyer, born and raised in the suburbs of Indianapolis, where in high school, he almost flunked out of Spanish. For a lot of the gringo kids, I used to be in their position. I used to be sitting in their seats wondering, why am I taking this language? How is this ever going to help me out in my life? It's probably not, so why should I even pay attention? So my job is to be that link is to come in and say, this is why. Chavez says bringing Guero Loco into the district is part of a coordinated campaign to recruit more students into the bilingual program and change students and parents' attitudes. Chavez says for the first time this graduating year, Deming Public School diplomas will have bilingual seals for students proving proficiency in second languages. All New Mexico schools will use the seals starting in 2016.
where Loco made stops in Portales, Hobbs, Albuquerque, Deming and Las Cruces and is set to tour New Mexico public schools again at the beginning of the new school year. For KRWG, I'm Simon Thompson.